Hope everyone had a great Halloween. That was so much fun <laughs> filming just, as Where's Waldo last week. Yeah, just a little cheers. Oh, yeah, oh, with yes. our just Awalas. Just a nice little cheers. To our I forgot with... mine. Well, you know what? <laughs> Why does yours say Natalie? <laughs> okay. Why does your say Natalie? This is definitely Natalie. Uh... Thanks again, Awala. Thanks, Thanks Awala. Awala. <laughs> um, I took my first sip out of it in the car. Just was it life-changing? Yeah, but I feel like I'm not used to this kind of straw, so every time I do it, I feel like I'm like... <laughs> Are, are you straws? Are you, yeah, straw we're sipping. Straw are you sipping. sucking or gulping? We're <laughs> oh, I'm sucking. We're sucking and we're gulping. Uh, we're doing it all. I, but like, I do. You, are you like a that middle be of the slogan. night? Are you a middle of the night drinker? Yes. No. Like, okay, but Did like in see? the middle of the night, I'm not sucking. I'm gulping. Oh no, really? I'm, I'm always sucking. That's requiring too much. Like, no, it's so much easier because at night you don't have to do a full tilt. You just. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like about like it. Like the, the, mm -hmm. the heftiness in the middle of the night of getting an it's arm workout so in. Heavy. It's like, so uh, heavy. I think sucking requires it's... more uh, <laughs> energy, <laughs> requires more muscles. Than... Well, you yeah, know. it does. It does. <laughs> that should be their slogan. Yeah. Sucking and gulping. <laughs> Take your pick. You, wait, so at night, you, do, do you do two hands or one hand? <laughs> no, I usually do one hand and I set it down and I miss the dresser and oh, it drops out. I'm like, no. fuck! And then it's just like, clunk, clunk. Carly, and guess what? It doesn't spill. Carly yeah. got a silencer for hers. I this is a yeah. <laughs> it's a little like rubber James Bond. Yeah, yeah like, they are illegal, but it's it a did rubber mattress. One. So when you put it down, it doesn't make a ding. Yeah, which I'm obsessed with. Uh, but it's a Walla branded. Yeah, it's from. Yeah, it's their wow. thing. Wow, that's you have, what I mean. Like you could buy the extra. We're literally doing a brand deal for Walla. <laughs> Do you have a, a cup holder adjustment in your car? No, but I just game like, changer. I just like throw it on the seat next to me. I don't really care. Yeah, and then you hit the brakes, and then you're like, <laughs> fuck! Like, it becomes yeah, a projectile, and will yeah. kill you when you're driving. No, get, get a cup holder like uh, adjuster that fits that. I'm good. I don't want to be a nerd. <sighs> no, it's nice. It's like a Cheap. little one that then expands into a bigger one. I know, one. I've seen them. They're probably pretty nifty. They're pretty but great. Maya Walla went missing. Yeah, well, where is oh, where I, I left it at the gym and then <gasps> and I've done it twice. Have I'm just, you asked them? Yes, first time they found it, second time. Well, we didn't know. you get another one? Yes, oh, I did. But, but not we'll, the. No, not no, the, not the original. Not the one that looks like Matt. The one that got us so many views the, on our you TikTok. You should <laughs> drop a little air tag in yours. You yeah. think so? <laughs> like on the inside. inside. Have you used the air tag I got you for yeah. Grimson? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> this was like a week ago. <laughs> have you used have the you key used chain it yet? that I got you? <laughs> yeah, because my the one that I have, one of them says the battery died, and then I oh. like. P bought a new battery and it still said it had low battery, so I think it's just messed up. So I just used the one that you gave me. Oh, okay, mm. cool. It's well, helpful. Would you put it on my your keys? Wallet? Yeah, Matt, uh -huh. but Matt got it like a nice. Uh, it's like a nice leather air tag, like for... a key chain, like similar to this. Cute. Similar oh yeah, to that. yeah, yeah. That's very nice. I've missed you guys. I know it's been so long. I know. Well, too bad we saw you last week. week but... We just saw you last week. Is uh, where's Waldo? <laughs> oh right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Should we explain? Should we break the fourth wall and just explain? Sure, we for can a explain. Hot second, yeah. Not that it's new, but we today record... is October twenty sixth. We record two episodes when we record, and we're doing the Halloween one after this. Right. So it's going to go up before because Halloween is next week. So we haven't recorded the Halloween so episode like yet. So it's like a little discombobulating. Well, no, but... Is there blood on your pants? Uh, no, it's paint. It's paint from when we did, did Adam's music someone? video. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I'm, I'm Lenora I'm Hope. No, this... <laughs> on her sister with a rope. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, uh, you're Natalie oh. Bottle. <laughs> uh, no, this is from when we did Adam's music video. And I just can't get the paint out. I think that's the point of paint. I guess so, but it's you not look like a handyman. But isn't acrylic yeah. paint? You can get the paint off your clothes, right? right. I think acrylic is the what the, the most permanent one. Yeah, water acrylic based. Based. nails, <laughs> nails. Yeah, I thought acrylic was nails. No, it's oh, like a maybe, plastic. May, then maybe if I use nail polish remover, oh. I can get it off my pants. You need to use like acetone. Yeah. Like Isn't that what nail polish remover uh, is? Straight acetone. Pure acetone. But then it might burn through the jeans now. Yeah, probably. That'd be. I oh. love nail polish remover, though. Ew. Oh. What? Dude, like it smell smells it? so. It smells so good. It's always cold. What? what? You're going to be drinking it on my no, stranger. I would, never <laughs> I would never taste it. It's just the experience I have with it. I'm always like, woo, woo, <laughs> The experience? Woo. Yeah. That's so. Maybe because, Experimenting like, with acetone. As a girl, like, we're more likely to go to salons more. So to me, it's like, <laughs> like. It's yeah, like you gotta a, put like uh, a cotton ball on it, but it's just so cold and it smells just like. It balls. is always cold. That's a good. Yeah. But don't you hate cotton balls? 
I do, I do. But not with but acetone. Paired with acetone. <laughs> but paired with acetone, you can deal with it. Yeah, I'm having a good little time. Oh my god, I spilled oh, out. Oh, it was like the worst day of my life. Not really, but I have a wood table. Like, <gasps> wood from West Up. Like, very nice table to eat food on. Nice. Like, it's, it's like my dining room table. And <laughs> yeah, I, Carly. I was wood. doing my... I, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, it's really hard for me to explain no, things no, no, I, I think I have, like, something wrong with my brain. But I was doing my own nails for a while, and I every time I would do it, I would, like, set down, like, towels and stuff and just make sure i don't know what happened but that acetone spilled over and there are just like splotches splotches on oh. my wood table and then it happened again on my cement uh, on a cement table on a cement does that mean table. like there was then paint on it like it was sealed it with something like, yeah. and then overtook the could seal. you sand it down and then refinish I'm it i'm sure but I'm not gonna do all that. That's a good way to like sabotage somebody is with <laughs> yeah, nail polish remover. Yeah, just like go and pour that shit like, like on their, their car. Furniture. Do you think on a car Ooh. would it work? Take the paint yeah, off? Yeah, probably. That's such Damn. a good subreddit. Uh, unethical life pro tips, and it's turned into like people trying to get petty revenge on people. Yes, like my it my have landlord. A subreddit? I think it is petty, petty revenge. revenge. Is a subreddit. Oh. I always like that one where it says that. Like you move someone's furniture like an inch every time you like oh, yeah. come over, or you do, or you do it to like someone's like desk at work, and you just slowly <laughs> drive a person to insanity. Love or those when you're types at someone's house, hats. you just take the backs of the remote, like where you put the batteries in. You just take the backs like one uh, by one, and uh, they're eventually like, "What the fuck happened to all the backs yeah, of the remote?" That is a nightmare. That's cool. I would hate that. <laughs> I feel like it's not as common now with like the Apple back of TV remotes, and stuff, but like. They don't got backs. Yeah. The Roku one does. At I hate Roku remotes. <laughs> what? Oh. They are. Wait, Roku, like, brilliant product. It is so great that you give people the, the smart TV experience. It's also gorgeous looking. Yeah. The the UI. That's a, what? Uh, it's the, the UI best looks UI. a little. For, if, like you're eight, if you're 70 no, or 80. No, it looks like Halloween. Like, I feel like it looks all dark and Halloween. -y. I do love Roku City. I love yeah. picking out all the little movie references. That's fun. Is it the most attractive, like, wallpaper What's to have? What's better? Apple well, TV? did I say Art. it's the most attractive Just, wallpaper? No, I said it looks gorgeous. Okay, but a Roku so? remote. I didn't ask for like some purpley like <laughs> it looks like a kid's toy. It does. It looks like the best remote. It looks like Fisher Price made it, dude. <laughs> it's it the most ergonomic remote. Like it fits in your Ergo hand. You want to talk about ergonomic remotes? Yes. The the volume and remote buttons are on the side, so they don't accidentally get pressed. You have every button that you need. What else do you want? The Apple TV remote. Just not make it purple. Apple don't make TV it, remote is probably. It's so bad. Why yeah. is so small? It's yes, so I, small, Apple and it TV. doesn't make any sense there's no home button it's just like there's nothing's labeled on it mm. it's, yeah. and then there's like, like a, you definitely get used to it using it but like when i you like the apple the tv first... aren't apple tv remotes now like basically obsolete though like the apple tv experience like you can just have the apple tv app on your smart tv so why do you need an oh. apple tv well apple tv itself is like a whole system right yeah like it use it makes your TV a smart TV. What do you have, Aaron? Correct, Apple. but now smart TVs <laughs> you can get a smart TV for two hundred dollars. Well, yeah, yeah. I now. mean, I'm not saying everybody out there like, hey, you don't have a smart TV, yeah, like, like fucking no, but they're so cheap. It's way more accessible than what it was. You don't need to have that box anymore. I did see a funny TikTok, which I've. Ow believe is true that like girls in their bedroom always just have like a tiny little tv in their bedroom <laughs> like, 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 i don't like, mine's like a 60 inch you have a big tv oh, in your yes. bedroom literally girls like have, yeah. <laughs> i saw this tiktok yeah yeah, yeah. like girls, girls will have like a huge bedroom and like a great bed and, and like, they'll have a, couch. A, like a slumber like party like what, movie night and it's just <laughs> it's, like yeah. y'all are it's like it's, i've never heard that every girl i know has the tiny it's like a 30 inch not and even they don't 30 complain inch. about no, it no no not one day is a girl ever like you know what this tv is too small a guy is like we need a bigger tv up in here yeah i don't know it's i guess you guys don't go to like girls bedrooms a lot but yeah but like when we were younger did, what did you have a but big like, tv you guys had... yeah i did even like yeah like when I still lived at home, I, I think I had like a forty-two inch. Like, Trying to remember y'all's TV you guys had at like your first apartment. It was my, it was mine. Here. Okay. It was like I think it was a forty-two or forty-six inch TV. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's it's, it's like the small. All, small is like under thirty-two inches. Yeah, like they'll have like a thirteen inch <laughs> like, TV. Well, you were doing this, so <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like no, this would be massive. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about like the size of a MacBook, like. Um, like, <laughs> okay. like in that episode of The Office where they invite people, or Michael invites sure, people over to sure, his house sure. and he has, like, that's <laughs> every... Like you looking at okay. this? <laughs> okay. Like, that's the size that, like, most girls have in their bedroom. Oh, I guess it's, I'm not... You gotta see the TikTok to, like... 
Yeah, like get the. A lot of people identified with what this person yeah. was saying, and yeah. it's just were I they think men? it's <laughs> girls. Yes. yes, it was men because <laughs> guys are always like, guys, uh, it's the only thing capitalism has made easier for us is that TVs are cheap. Like, yeah. we don't have health care. We like <laughs> we the roads the are fucked. Values. We don't have education. But you can get a fucking sick like, 4K TV. If you're going TV. to a house and it's oh, all girls live there, odds are they will not have that great <laughs> yes, of a TV. Yeah. And it will not be big. No way. Because yeah, no. not one of the girls is like, I'm going to go get the big TV, guys. Yes. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Ours was big enough. Ours was big. All my girlfriends See? have great sized televisions. It was big. It was like a 46 inch TV. Big enough. I don't know who you guys are hanging yeah. out with. Whatever. <laughs> we didn't have TVs in our bedrooms, though. Did you have a like TV in, in your apartment. bedroom as a kid? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, cable access? Yeah. Um, Whoa. Actually, <laughs> actually, no, I'm not sure. That's when kinda... I like when I was a teen, definitely I had cable. For, yeah, I don't but, know like, about I think, a kid. Well, in I had, your room? Yeah. Yeah. As a wow. kid, I had like just like a VHS one. Okay. Yeah. Same here. In rabbit ears too. Like I oh, had a yeah. TV, but I, I <laughs> no, could like watch American Idol massive. upstairs. Yeah. 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 But do you have your own phone line? No. no, that was cool. No, Who like, are you what? calling? Like, <laughs> are you taking business deals? Just, no, just I remember my, that was my a friend Rob. Though, they, somebody had their own line. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't have to deal with their parents' answer. Or like, even or just a phone in their room yeah. in general. It was always that green, like, see through one yes. that like, everyone had. Or but, the hamburger phone, yeah. That was going to yeah. change your life. If Who you got ever cool. had the hamburger phone besides Juno? I feel like, yeah, like Juno I knew had a the guy, hamburger phone and then it got popular. One of my family friends, the dad, his business, he made like millions of dollars selling like novelty phones so we would go Whoa, to his house fun. and he would just have all of them from china like as samples hot dog phone spongebob phone did see he ever through. give you one no oh what? because right. like my parents were like we're not having this in our house like this is like ridiculous deco? i had a mickey i had a mickey phone the mickey phone i, I had a mickey phone <laughs> but it was like my grandma's and it was like an antique and we never hooked it up we just i didn't have my own line but i had a friend who had his own line and it was like God, every day I would just go home from school and just call him and that's it's like it. they had a cell phone at that point. Yes, yeah. because anytime you'd call someone, you have to talk to the mom. Yeah. So I'm curious about pricing on that stuff. Like, was it like very was, it? was it double the price or mm. was it cheaper to have a side line? I think adding an extra line probably was incremental. But like long distance, that was the big thing back oh, then. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember like... minutes when you get a cell phone plan with minutes? Ugh. Free nights hurry and up, weekends. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Or free nights and weekends. Imagine having to like... Keep track of how many texts you're sending and receiving each month. <laughs> if that was still a thing, no. Like we had to like we had maybe a thousand texts a month or five hundred texts. Yeah, five hundred texts. And when Unlimited. you go, oh, honestly, they should yeah. install Unlimited. that back. Like some people are a little too chatty. <laughs> Calm down with the group chats. <laughs> then yeah, you have to call. Then they'll call you. No, only nights and weekends. I remember you being kind of jealous minutes. of people who went over their texting and you were like, being, so many friends." Being, yes, like it meant like, <laughs> oh, oh well, God. they've been texting a boy or whatever. I'm like, no one wants to. Text but here's me. the thing, and. I feel like you don't have unlimited data. Like people who today are like, "Ooh, I'm running out of data." I have unlimited data. What? Okay, only internationally. Oh. Verizon has a stupid like travel pass. Whenever you're abroad, yeah, you go. They only give you like a couple gigs a day, and, and then, then you got to pay twenty five bucks. God damn! Well, it's, you pay ten dollars a day, but you go over your gigs though, and then they slow you down, and then they slow it I down to like and then two G oh, speeds. Yeah. I feel like I never. What are you doing on your phone? I don't know. Sometimes it's just I got to make sure that there's not some stupid app in the background running that's yeah. clogging it down. Just watching TikTok the whole day. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of the, yeah. well, if you're on Wi-Fi, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Like back at the hotel. Yeah. Speaking of things being just, cheap, I saw a TikTok. I'm sure, I feel like the you guys probably know about this already, but Sears in the early 1900s used to be able to buy a house from yeah, Sears. Yeah, a Sears kit house. Kit house. I lived, I lived in one in college. You lived in one? I lived in a Sears kit house. Oh, Carly, it's crazy you brought this up because I've gone down rabbit holes <laughs> online. Explain to Aaron like what they are okay, and how so much they cost. Does, wait, like when you think of a kit house, what comes to mind? Like just like a pre-built house. Uh, yes, in a way. Or they give you all the materials and the plans to build the house, and you build it. So okay. it's a kit, and you build the house. It was very, very common in they the thirties, forties. How like, you're from like yeah. Boston, so I bet there's tons of Sear, uh, Sears kit I'm houses sure. out oh, there. Yeah. Up in Ashland. I think they also just reopened to Sears. Yeah, but there's no houses in there. No, there's no I know. houses in the kit house. <laughs> well, yeah. It went out of business. I think it went right? out of business, and now they're bringing it back. Uh, but the house's cost, it said from, you can get them from $700 yeah. to 2500 was like the big ass houses. Yeah, that yeah. wouldn't make sense to me. $2,500. And it's like plumbing? 
and electric. Yeah, they everything gets shipped in boxes, even like little nails and. But you hinges. gotta like run your own bathroom plumbing. Well, they and come you, out and, and your dad has to yell at you while he builds it yeah. the whole time, <laughs> just like imagine? oh god, like, we're building this house today. <laughs> like, you what want... are the instructions? Like fucking IKEA. But it's got to like, take a couple sick. weeks though. It's yeah, not... I saw the guy, the TikTok yeah. I saw. He still had one of the manuals. Booklet. Yeah, manuals oh like how to god. put it together. And I believe a guy on TikTok is like. Asking to get like funded to, so he can like build his own now, or he's going to. Yes, he's, yes. He's you going lived to in build, one. I lived in a That's serious crazy. kid house in how many bedrooms? College, and the way I didn't know about it, I lived in one was because then my uh, friend's dad came over, and he first thing right, and he looked at a house. He goes, "This is a serious kid house." Whoa! And then he like looked up in the rafters and saw that it was like I don't know had the certification of oh the Sears like, Kid cool. House. But there's could fall down any day. Was there a second <laughs> Who built floor? The coming down. Yeah, it was actually there is a second floor, but also the house was kind of built during like Great Depression times. You know how it was like kind of common to where people would build houses that could turn into two houses just in case if the economy went bad. Oh, I didn't like know there that. was a doorbell oh, in yes. the middle of our house, but when you went upstairs, downstairs, and, but they had it just in case. Right, you t it turned into a duplex. So yeah, it's two families. Oh, oh my god! Whoa. Yeah, yeah. There's like some older houses that still have that like a backup yeah. plan, but yeah, Sears Kit House. But there's it, thousands of them. Could you tell like anything no, crazy? It, that honestly, there's more Sears Kit houses than, than you, you think. think there are, and especially older neighborhoods. It's just a simple build at home. Yeah. But, um sometimes i think there are some distinctive qualities about them that you can yeah. like sometimes have like partial brick in the front which was like a big like i don't know <laughs> i'm just picturing like Picture. it's just one big thing you just open it <laughs> there are 3d Plumbing. printing houses now which what is kind of sick about those Pretty it's kind of sick would you I, I don't know what that means completely there's like, like, I understand like the it's like a giant thing thing Machine. and it uses concrete and just like goes and like r does layers and layers of it looks concrete like they made out like play-doh kind of or like <laughs> it's, it's crazy just, though and they, they like finish it yeah in, like, they like day. leave gaps oh. in so you can do the plumbing and the electric and it's just like basically it's like a printer that just goes like boop 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 oh, does the cool. outside of the house and then you can print up and up a and whole up. house in one day i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. but and then you gotta add electrical windows yeah, it's, it's more like the framing of the house it's not like the roof and like printing a toilet and like a, like <laughs> yeah. a kitchen counter. It's not printing like, all it's of just that. Like goo. It's the skeleton of the house, but yeah. it's still kind of sick. Is like insulation or is that? Well, that's the point is that it is insulated because it's just thick concrete. Wow. It's probably not perfected yet, and what it will be. Fix sound in your house. Like, is everything sound like a little bit more echoey? Echoey we go or to is one. it? Yeah, and I, I I don't know. I don't. There's I don't like buying Austin. Gen, like verse version of things. No, I don't. I didn't say buy it. Oh, oh. So we should go to one. Oh, go to see one. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's even living in them yet. I feel like I, I always I see like so. companies that are like, this is the future, and then they're well, like, have they actually built one yet? I yeah, I follow um, Shelby Church, and she does like a bunch of stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure she went to one in Austin. Um, There's like a whole and, like, street maybe Joshua in the neighborhood. Tree. Yeah. yeah, in Joshua Tree especially too. Yeah. And she did like tours of them, and like there's furniture and shit inside. Do you like tiny house living? No, no, Couldn't that be is me. just capitalism rebranded as like. Oh no, it's Carly cute. does that in her bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I live in my bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> I think it could be cute. I don't know if I'd want to do it, but like, yeah, I don't see. The I think problem. anyone who is like. Oh, my tiny house is a liar. <laughs> I is agree. A liar? Well, for me, mean? every time I see those, like I forget, like I'm tall. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna bump my oh, head yeah. Yeah. everywhere in that thing. Or like, like living in a converted school bus. Yes, oh which is that funny. Phase. Those TikToks they always start off like so ambitious. It's some kid who's like <laughs> in between like graduating and like going to college, and he's like, I'm just gonna travel. You follow up on that account like two months later. They're like, "Hey guys, sorry we to shut the project down. <laughs> Didn't realize that the bus was uh, up to code." I yeah. do think it is crazy how people convert vans into living. It's like, oh shit, that actually looks really cool. But I don't think I'd want to live. Oh, I could never do that. Yeah, living in a van. Yeah, yeah. There's just not enough room. But not then they're like, room. "The whole world is your room." If I but like, I just want to watch a. I want to fit my no. sixty-five the whole world inch TV. Is your room. <laughs> Yeah, somewhere yeah, like, yeah. I need my 12 inch TV in somewhere. shit in a bucket that just <laughs> that yeah. slides under like yeah. <laughs> like in a drawer and knowing that there's just shit and sitting in my van and then you get, shower like give me you have to shower with a hose where outside. Yeah. Shit where you sleep. Yeah. What if it's cold out? Yeah, it's I mean it sucks. 
Yeah, and then like you have to like convert your bed to your kitchen table. Like it's just too much. Yeah, I don't even like making my bed in my house. Like <laughs> if I have to like convert, convert a bedroom into a kitchen uh, every day, and then yeah. you can't even like sit up in bed. Uh, Sears could sell that. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah, you just know they're like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they ain't making that bed. They're not, like, packing that stuff up nicely. Every before day they put you have to back. treat it like a hotel room. Like, yeah. put, tuck the corners in and lock it up. And I feel bad for those, like, families that, like, are nomadic families. Or it's like, this is 12 of us and we're on the road all together. With our three dogs. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Those poor kids are just sleeping in, like, They're just, like, getting the fuck beds. out of here. Yeah. Did you guys hear about... This is not a nice story, but I have been talking about it for quite some time. The tr the girl who died from drinking the charged lemonade at Panera. Oh, I said yeah. That you. you did. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. It's been making the rounds. But I've heard some like. I haven't heard of this. Uh, We've warned about conflicting this. Conflicting oh. sides about it. Well, do you want to explain for Aaron? Yeah, about Carly, you explain it. Okay, I have a link. I know the charged lemonade. Which yeah. Carly always talked about yep. as being psychotically dangerous. Mm -hmm. A girl. Well, I was always just like, holy shit. How much caffeine is in it? It's more than like any energy drink you could get on the market. A girl died from drinking it. A girl went in with a heart condition. Okay. okay. It Did, says, do you want me to read the article? Yes. Okay. It says the Food and Drug Administration said Wednesday that it's gathering information about a death of a young woman with a heart condition who a lawsuit alleges died after she consumed a highly caffeinated lemonade from Panera Bread. Sarah Katz, 21, an Ivy League student, died in September 2022 after she drank panera's charged lemonade a large cup which contains more caffeine than a standard can of red bull and monster energy drinks combined mm. according to a lawsuit her family filed this week the lawsuit which was first reported by nbc news calls the beverage a dangerous energy drink and alleges that panera failed to properly warn customers about its ingredients in addition to caffeine it is uh garana extract another stimulant and the large size contains the equivalent of almost 30 teaspoons teaspoonfuls of sugar Ooh, what was her heart condition though? Um, I'm trying to see. Ooh, is drinking a large? But the thing is, like, I saw a picture of it, and you barely see it says charged lemonade. It just has like the big flavor, so like you don't even really know. And this is kind of like, oh, I want guava. You don't really even see that it says. And this when, when you're filling it up. Yeah. What you mean? Okay. Yeah. So like you fill it yourself. Um, I'm not positive to be honest. Let me see a photo. Of we this. used. I mean, at Panera, we used to do the like lemonades like that but maybe things have how changed. new is the charged lemonade has this been I around think it for came years out last year maybe the year before. oh well yeah. the thing is it's also panera bread and i don't panera bread's not a coffee shop right it's not a caffeination well, station it is a cafe. <laughs> well, they they have, like, yeah they have soda. coffees okay they have coffees, so people they have, are like, going lattes. in there not for like casual some like, people lunch. come in for their morning coffee oh yeah. okay so i guess but like, who's going in for a charged lemonade? But that's the thing. Most people don't know that it is. They're just like, oh, oh you I think want they the... just want lemonade and they get. Well, I saw a photo of it and it's literally like the charged lemonade is so tiny. And then it has like all the lemonades and all the flavors are like this. So you just think you're picking a flavor. Are they all charged or only no, one of them No, just that is? one. Oh. It's, yeah. And but I think it... just charged lemonade still sounds like it's like safe. Like it doesn't. How do they get okay, that much like, caffeine in there either? It's not like Redline. Like Redline would like. You remember Redline energy drink? No. That was the one that they had it like banned because it was like 400 milligrams of caffeine and like people were like saying good heart conditions could die if they drank yeah. it. But at least the name Redline was like, right. like you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So this Prime has 200 milligrams of caffeine. This is the one that's like <clears throat> parents are... I think 200 is like I think a standard cup of coffee. It's kind of standard but the charged lemonade it says but at 390 milligrams the charged oh lemonade God. has more caffeine in total than any size of the company's dark roast coffee. But is that a large? Uh, Yeah, Cats had bought the large cup okay, which so is that's 30... way more than that then I would assume. Yeah. Uh, Kat's bought the large cup, which is 30 fluid ounces, according to Elizabeth Crawford. 30 ounces. A partner, blah, blah, blah. Who's drinking that? <laughs> the beverage dispenser listed the amount of caffeine in the drink, <laughs> Crawford said, but it yeah. did not put the 390 milligrams of caffeine into context. Ooh, yeah. So. According to the FDA, healthy adults can safely consume up to 400 milligrams of caffeine daily. Yeah, in a day. In a day. So not she, if she had a heart condition and a cup of coffee and then went and drank this, it's game You're over. You're fucked. What's the heart condition? Um, it made me think I was having a heart attack. It scared me. Someone said. My heart's beating fast just know. thinking about this. This podcast is sponsored by Next Evo. Sometimes in life, there's just two things that don't mix. Like me and waking up early. Oil and water. 
uh, drinking orange juice after brushing your teeth. Like, disgusting, right? Some things just don't mix. And when it comes to CBD, our bodies don't absorb CBD oil well. So when you reach for oil-based CBD products, you could be absorbing as low as 6% of what's on the label. Next, Evo Naturals developed a proprietary water-soluble form of CBD clinically tested multiple times, which is proven to work faster and absorb four times better. So you can stay calmer or sleep better during this stressful time of year. CBD only works if it gets into your body and only Next Evo has proven their all natural gummies and capsules absorb four times better than most oil-based products. I have noticed it helps with sleeping and staying asleep or just feeling stressed or anxious. I mean, obviously that's so common, but having a CBD that actually absorbs into your body like this actually does help and you can tell the difference. Don't waste your time with oil-based CBD that might not work. Upgrade to better natural solutions from Next Evo. Go to nextevo.com and use promo code GOOD to get 25% off. That's 25% off at nextevo.com, promo code GOOD. I don't think, it just has heart condition. So what yeah. happened? Did she like... I think she she probably some had a people are writing comments that were like, well, that's on her responsibility. She should know about her heart condition and should have paid better attention or whatever. But if the Panera did not specify about the milligram of caffeine on like the crazy. tank, eh, yeah. you're done. That's like the McDonald's thing with the coffee woman in the 90s. Is that true? I heard, I, I heard a whole thing about this. I saw like a about documentary this. about it. It yeah. was true, but I think it was like... McDonald's tried to make her look like a crazy lady who was just trying to sue, but it was totally McDonald's fault. It was because, like way too hot. Yeah, their their coffee was like basically at boiling temperature. The lids that they used were not secure and they didn't mm. indicate that it was like boiling coffee. They just said it was hot coffee to the level of like that people just thought it was regular. And she had like third degree burns that had to like per had permanently scarred her for life. She had to go to the hospital and like go in the burn unit. She got severely injured and mcdonald's as like a corporation was like let's put it in the news that this woman's doing a frivolous lawsuit <gasps> and change the narrative to make it seem like she was the crazy one but really it was mcdonald's fault and she got millions of dollars it's a really good documentary i don't know nice if she got house becca <laughs> <laughs> where'd you get all this money definitely not a sears yeah. house yeah i burned them. <laughs> yeah. i saw a tiktok are you guys like on that trend where it's like that I think her name is Sue or something. She's like, I have a crazy story about this pesto or whatever. And then people no. are like, that's crazy. Like and sarcastic. Kind yeah. Of? And oh. then they tell their like actual crazy stories. <laughs> and this girl was telling a story how she stayed over at a friend's house one night before high school and in the morning made herself a cup of coffee, put some creamer in it and then went to school and then was just like absolutely insane all day. But like she didn't really feel that she was just like oh my god i'm having the best day i love life like i'm doing so great <laughs> oh everything god. is wonderful and then she had like soccer practice and like at soccer practice she was like i could do this forever and like then realized she hadn't like eaten anything all day and then when she saw her mom her mom was like are you on drugs like you are acting so crazy right now and then like to her mom she was like that's so crazy like why would you even say that like i don't do drugs like all i had today was coffee and a banana like i didn't take any drugs and then her mom's like okay and she was like why don't you give me some of that coffee that you had and i'm gonna take it to work and test it because i guess she like worked in a lab or something and so then her mom found that in the creamer there was <laughs> ecstasy meth and cocaine in the, cr in the creamer in the creamer like bottled by the company or she no. got a batch that was spiked <laughs> no. bottled by coffee so mate. then obviously she was like what the fuck and went wait to what her was that mix again it sounds kind of sick <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, I it's that. called it's called like uh, it's called hippie flipping <laughs> uh, I think it's called like G3 or something like that that's what the girl said it's ecstasy meth and cocaine and so then she went to her friend and was like you think of what I'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make up a batch of creamer tonight she went to her friend like asked her about it and what happened was the friend's father was like dating this new woman and they got into an argument <laughs> and to try to like get back to him she poured this solution in the creamer not thinking anyone would drink it because the daughter doesn't drink coffee and so then the girl just like made herself a cup of coffee because she was comfortable enough at their house and then she wound up <laughs> drinking it oh just My a God. teenager on all of these phones. Uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just in math class. I'm not like, drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dropping her like ass. absolutely <laughs> crazy. <Coffee. laughs> Damn, she, she probably like, had the best day of her fucking life. No, yeah, she was like, it was amazing. Meth, cocaine, and, and she, ecstasy. Well, she was like, I didn't sleep until eight. Like, I fell asleep at eight a.m. the next day. Yeah, <laughs> the crash was probably really tough. Yeah, and then her mom was like, okay, like you stay home from school today. But I literally was just watching that with my jaw dropped. That would, like I cannot even believe. So what this is, was a TikTok of the girl who actually experienced this that you saw. Yeah, she was telling she was the story getting, firsthand. Wait, sorry if I missed this sure. uh, part. The the woman who ever was staying at the house with the girlfriend who was on drugs, she did it. She put it in the creamer to get back at the guy. Uh, yeah. Or what if she was like just such a drug addict? She that was <laughs> like her little morning thinking. pick me. Yeah, maybe. No, <laughs> a little, a little bit. dash she, of cream. She like, I'm not addicted. Just yeah. a little, just <laughs> a little dose it. to keep I'm me going. I'm not injecting it. I'm not smoking it. I'm just drinking <laughs> just, it. I'm microdosing. <laughs> it's just a little, just a little taste. Yeah. Microdosing meth, cocaine. Okay. Yeah. And well, because she said too, like she pours a ton, like. She likes her coffee with a lot of creamer. So she was like, I poured a lot of it in. But she oh, also said fuck. her mom tried it. <laughs> but like just a little yeah. bit. And she like didn't feel that crazy. Damn. Mm. But also, how do you know, like the concentration wise? Like, what if it's all sitting at the top and you're just, you know what I mean? Like, how does that even work? You can just dump it in creamer <laughs> I, so it makes you high? God, that's my worst nightmare is getting drugged, like, drugged yeah. accidentally. Yeah. Oh, I was looking up illegal things because I just thought it was interesting. Um, I found things that used to be illegal that I was like, huh? That are now I not. like Matt's example. It's not going to be like sneezing in a church yeah, on a like, Wednesday. No, 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 it's no, old, no. like, hokey. Yeah. Oh, it's illegal can't... to cross a jaywalking with a kangaroo <laughs> yeah. and a baby turtle. Like, okay, sorry. Yeah, you can't wear a feather in your hat on Memorial Day. Like, it's like, <laughs> stupid. What? Carly's like, never mind. Oops, I, 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 I lost can't... the sheet. <laughs> no, no, no. My phone's still in Mike's car. I lost it. Can we talk about this, Carly? What? what? How do you oh. leave your phone in my car? Two times in a row. Like, yeah. when you're holding it seconds before. I think it's because there's so many other things I'm carrying, I don't think about it. But do you just put your phone down on the seat when you leave the car? I guess. I have no do idea. Do you have pockets? No. I'm a girl. I'm a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for backing me up, guys. I thought we were all going to gang up on her for this. <laughs> yeah, no, everyone's on my side except okay, you, Mike. Okay, okay. Um, obviously, lobotomies used to be legal, which is insane. They should bring those back, though. I know, yeah. they really should. Marry your first few people. Bring back lobotomies. <laughs> Could, did people ever do them voluntarily? Who's the, like, um... What, was it a Kennedy? Like JFK's kid? Yeah. Who got oh, it? yeah. No, not one of JFK's kid, but I think his like sister. Niece? Or brother, one of them. Yeah. yeah that's no, it was a, no, it was a girl. Yeah, it was a girl. Um, a lobotomy, for those who don't know, is back in like the 40s and 50s. If someone had a problem, like if maybe if a woman, woman was just talking too much, yeah, they, no, literally, they would have to like they would take a thing, shove it up your nose, and this is a little graphic, and then like scramble the front of your brain around your frontal lobe. It, uh, incredibly barbaric, and then it would yeah. just like sedate the person and make them basically like a vegetable. Yeah, Nobody's like a, home. Yeah, that the lights are on, but that's nobody's home. The no lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. Which is a crazy thing. She's still alive, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think so. Who or is? she's the definitely Kennedy like woman that got lobotomized. What's her name? And they it's also like would like electrocute. Remember, they would like electroshock crazy people to yeah. try and fix well, them. Let's that's not call like, them crazy people. They would do it to like gay people. They would do it. To yeah, people. crazy people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did they, they do they deemed crazy. Yes. Electroshock yeah. therapy. But doesn't it kind of work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's, I'm straight. No, I'm but straight. It, oh, my anxiety. No. I'm but straight. Like, it, it, for people who are like manically depressive. I, like, I think nowadays. But it's not very like humane. No, to, nowadays to there's something it's, called like EMDR therapy, which they like will do very 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 light electric work in your brain that's like extremely uh precise and dialed in back in these days they would like strap someone to an electric chair if they like yeah it's like the bell jar yeah voted for the wrong party or something and right. they just shocked you but have you seen requiem for a dream the worst movie i can't that's even... a whole electric thought chuck therapy scene that's oh yeah when the, when God. the, the mom goes into you that? don't uh, that movie it, i'd never want to see it i think it's again. an essential watch for anybody i definitely I think, seen it but like i don't remember the plot it's a good wa movie to watch when you're a teenager i think because it makes you never want to do drugs yes oh. ever yes. it's yeah. like the best psa on like don't do drug drugs addiction dare. it's the worst it's better than dare it's like the yeah. worst you'll feel so sick for like days after you watch that movie it's just a nightmare da -da 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 
good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh gosh, it's um, scoring. Not like the Mad Men. That's intro. like what I used to think about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like if I was a if I was a witch back in the Salem witch trial days, they would say if you're not a witch then we'll throw it like they would drown the witches so they would throw them in the water mm -hmm. and they would say okay if you can swim that means that you're a witch because you don't drown and then if you do drown oh well we guess we got it wrong and you weren't a witch so it was like a lose-lose situation kind of a dumb way to she do turned me into a newt <laughs> what <laughs> Monty Python? He's never. <laughs> he's Remember, he's like, she's a witch, and they like do the whole thing about. I've never seen any Monty Python stuff. Oh. I watched it in better. school. One of our teachers just rolled the thing in one day. We're watching like, Monty We're Python. Watch Monty Python. <laughs> in school? <laughs> yes. Damn. <laughs> uh, did you look up the lobotomized woman? It, oh. Yeah, Rosemary Kennedy. Rosemary. Well, I wonder what the when the last lobotomy was. She got when she was 23. So Oof. sad. Wait, for what purpose? I wait, I in this it. country? I feel yeah. like there's still happening across the world. Across, you think they're still lobotomizing? That's so weird. I was on like lobotomy TikTok last night and we're talking <laughs> about <laughs> it. It's like the reverse of like... Is there like a strategic way they do it or are they just like I shove something it, in no, there? No, they it's, like, it's like a way of like just around. they stir up that frontal lobe because your frontal lobe is basically when like... you shove it up your nose? Yeah. Yeah. And I always it, thought they like removed that's the what whole I thought would happen when I got The a COVID last test. recorded lobotomy in the United States was performed in 1967. <gasps> oh my gosh. And she it died ended in, in the death of the person right. who was performed. She's so beautiful. Thank God. Know, but she was. <laughs> but I'm so curious, like, how unhinged she was. Where yeah. they had to like, or do you think they were like, you are just an embarrassment to the Kennedys. Right. Okay, well, that's 100%. what they, people think, yeah. yeah. But it's like, so sad because she may have also just been like autistic or something like that. Or just and they like, just didn't know how to like deal or diagnose with somebody. And they go, just shut them up and just say that. Just give them a lobotomy. Yeah. Just a little a little too uppity. Hey, <laughs> hey let's scramble these I, eggs a little bit. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's a nightmare. Fuck. That's so scary to think about. Sending children by parcel post used to be legal. <laughs> Come again? Yeah, like but sending them, them through the mail. Sending a child through the mail. Like yeah. Flat Stanley. <laughs> it says on January first. On January first, nineteen thirteen. Put a stamp on their forehead. Okay, we'll see you in Alabama. <laughs> I mean, not too far off. The U.S. parcel, the U.S. parcel post service regulation stated that packages could not weigh more than fifty pounds. On February nineteenth, nineteen fourteen, um, the parents of a four-year-old mailed their daughter from Grangeville, Idaho to her grandparents in Lewiston, Idaho with 53 cents worth of postal stamps on her jacket. After hearing examples similar to this... Okay, so post, she wasn't in a box. The Postmaster General issued regulations against sending children by mail. It's an easier you, way for the baby to get there. Now, when they, you were a kid... Just trying to cheat I guess system. this is also like before flights were yeah. pretty common. She probably just rode in the seat with the postman. I know, but I'm curious. Well, this is the photo that comes up. But I don't yeah, she's not in like a box. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. What? She's in, like, she's in a bag. Like, just, <laughs> is this? Do you guys accept this? Like, <laughs> okay, well, just Think let us when know. When it was like people, everyone was like, love in 1914, thy yeah, yeah. Uh, like they were like, oh, it's fine. Send Susie in the mail. I'm like She'll half get the here. kids were dying anyway from like yeah. the, the cold. Oh, she didn't make it. Away. Yeah. <laughs> well, blame the postal service. Then. Wait, she died. No, 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 no. I think they were just oh, like, oh, this oh, is oh, getting oh. out of hand. Um, but it, this is like a, a question, but it's like the same vein as that. Yeah. But I never had the experience. Uh, when you were a kid, did you ever fly no. by yourself? No, that's so uh, scary. No. Like, the, you know, the parents like give the kid like the little badge, the flight attendants yeah. know that the kid's yeah, traveling yeah. alone. My parents yeah. were not divorced. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I my feel like that was like a big thing. Like, my parents, parents debated yeah. doing it for like, us just to like have it as like an experience as a kid because it oh teaches you to be a little bit more independent. independent and well, to yeah, follow and, like, directions. Asian countries, like, they literally are doing that with their kids when they're, Have like, Have you seen three. that show on Netflix? Oh, yeah. where they make the kid go to the grocery yeah. store oh, with I a little that flag little show. to see if he can, like, yeah. follow directions. <laughs> and, like, here I am, 32, afraid to call the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go to the dentist? Yeah. Twice a year? Dr. Mm -hmm. Crentist. Crentis the dentist? No mm -hmm. way, that's no, his name. It's from, from the office. office. Oh, oh. <laughs> my, your dentist's name is Crentis? Is Crentis? Just make a line. Um, and then here's some things that used to be illegal in America, which obviously aren't now. Uh, shopping on a Sunday used to be illegal. <gasps> used to be Church. illegal? Because of God. It's Sunday crazy was. that you still can't buy booze on Sundays before noon. Huh? That's uh, not true. At yes, some places, like, no, like at in, Target, in Atlanta, we weren't allowed to until 12. Like in Alabama. I didn't even have alcohol at Target. Yeah, that's that's a difference. You can't buy booze on Sunday before noon. Unless it's like Anywhere? beer. Before noon? Yeah. 
Because people are supposed to be at church and you can't be drinking at oh, church. on Sundays. In, on in, Sundays, yes. In a lot of southern states. In like New Jersey, that. too. I remember that was like a big thing in New Jersey. If you wanted to have a party on a Sunday, you had to buy the booze the night before or you had to wait till noon before you could buy it. So hmm. annoying. I know. I remember I slept the night in the Atlanta airport and I was so excited about waking up and getting a Bloody Mary at Chili's. <laughs> and I was like, woo! I got there I early waiting for that gate to open. <laughs> and they Sat said down no. and I'm like, one Bloody Mary, please. And she was like, honey, we don't serve that until afternoon. <laughs> what? Yes. Wait, that's still a thing? Uh -huh, yeah. In so many places yeah. in America. So if I went to. Would I go to those... bars on Sundays? There are bars on Sundays? Like maybe, I, maybe I think it might be like state by state. It's definitely state by state. Or city I don't by think city. here. It's... Are they voting on that, or is it just some politician's wife who's just like, "You cannot yeah. have <laughs> the local public drinking <laughs> on a Sunday." Like, yeah. who is that woman that's like advocating for like, it? Still. I think that was the default, and then I think over time it got less and less. Like more and more places yeah. started opening up. Okay, yeah, because like uh, I'll go to a bar on a Sunday at like 10 a.m. And can drink. I think you could drink beer, but not hard alcohol. But it's probably state by state. No, I, I remember when I was working at food. Boston's probably a place they were like, get the fuck out of here yeah. with that nonsense. We're drinking. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely we're serving drinking whiskey all on a time. Sunday morning. Yeah. I remember when I worked at Target, I didn't even know, but I it was like eleven AM or something and someone was trying to buy some hard alcohol and I had I got called up to do a cashier because there were so many people and I like scanned it and it was like unable to scan. I was like, what the fuck? And I called the manager over. She's like, oh yeah, we can't sell liquor before noon on Sunday. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't even know <laughs> that. And I lived there. Man. Yeah, so I yeah. feel like it's kind of random. Liquor before noon? I feel like there's something Take a snooze. You know, like, beer before liquor, never <laughs> sicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer before, liquor before noon, noon. You're going to hell soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that there is it good. is. Yeah, there so it's, it's a Sunday Weird. laws, which are also known as blue laws, are laws which restrict activities on Sundays for religious reasons. They have been struck down and upheld all over the country or county since the 19th century. One of these blue laws restricted people from buying or selling goods on Sundays to promote it as a day of rest. Um, I feel like a lot of, yeah, like Mormons, I know are not supposed to like go shopping on Sundays and mm. like spend money at places. I on love Sundays. a good Sunday Ooh. mall. Right? A nice Sunday. Chick -fil -A. But don't not you kind of like, you observe something where you really refuse to work on a certain day. Well, Shabbat. It's a holiday. <laughs> Shabbat. Wait. Yes. Every <laughs> Shabbat, Saturday, Shabbos, Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown, Orthodox religious Jews do not use lights, uh, cook food go in a car, work, write, use yeah. money, anything like that. No, I know. I know it's Shabbat, but you, but it's interesting with you though, like you really make sure that you do not work, right? Try, try to. Yeah. Even avoid talking about work. Yeah. You're too. not supposed to talk about business or like anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I just noticed that if sometimes I like try to bring up something, you're like, hey, 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 don't. <laughs> You'll have this thing on Saturdays. It's so funny. I'm like, well, we just have to do that thing, and where you got that, po like, it's oh, like just, let's talk about it in a couple hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, yeah. Religion aside, I like to get that. It's a like, good I break. I feel like the weekend, like, don't talk to me about work. Yeah, I think that's yeah. normal. No yeah. one should be able to. Know. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I know people who won't even like use their phone from oh. Friday night sundown till Saturday night sundown. Like, phone is Wait, off. Oh God. It, no, it's and it, but it's like a good break, you know. I'll, sure, I, but I gotta see what everyone's up to. Yeah, it's a link up for a good time. I guess you gotta plan. Send ahead. them a, p a parcel. <laughs> like a parcel. in high school, I didn't go to prom because <laughs> I was on Patricia a Friday night and like parcel. oh yeah, didn't I, go to any parties. I read that there was like a a football a guy who plays football, who yes is a religious Jew and doesn't yes. play on Friday nights. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that happens. Huh. In the NFL? No, no, no. No, it was I think college. Like college or oh. high school, yeah. There's a, I mean, Jewish people are not known for being the most athletic. Like, <laughs> there's. Maybe he oh, converted. We know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. You ever seen the movie Airplane? No, but I've seen oh. half full, half full court miracle, half court oh, miracle. Half court miracle. <laughs> uh, the one about. I still do see movie. that. Like, Speak, remember that you, one? Yes. <laughs> Just the They're only like, one. The generate or the the electricity's gonna go out for the game. We yeah. won't be able to finish the game. Well, there's just only this much left Oil. in the generator. Is that actually what happens in the movie? Yes. Yeah. And they are able to make it a. Full Is that a Disney Channel movie? Yeah. Disney Channel oh, movie. Okay, they like I'll, go to a Jewish school. It's like a Jewish school basketball I gotta watch team. That. Yeah. I gotta watch that. Yeah. Have you watched the new Adam Sandler one yet? No, I want to. So cute. 
where he's like, this is, we're Jews. We don't get days yeah. off. Yeah. And those are the only two. <laughs> yeah. First of all, oh, you yeah. need to see the movie Airplane. I have. Everyone here it's does. It's a funny one, right? It's so yeah. funny. I feel like but don't call me Shirley. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, there's the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is flying the airplane. But there's one scene that I think oh, about a Kareem. lot. And uh, this woman's like, do you have any light reading? And she goes, here's this leaflet on Jewish sports <laughs> athletes. And it's like one person on it. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's just no. That's very yeah. funny. Do you have anything light to read? Yeah, here's a pamphlet on Jewish sports athletes, and it's one person on it. Is it actually Kareem? It is. Yes. But in the movie, he's like saying it's not. They're like, I know you. You're Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He's like, no, it's not. No, I'm uh -huh. not. That's funny. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. <laughs> okay, Carly, sorry, continue. Oh, it's okay. Um, getting your fortune told used to be illegal. Oh, <gasps> that tracks. Several states used to have bans on fortune telling in Nebraska. Hey. Mm. Oh, yeah. A case went to court to the Court of Appeals in which a man was charged with running an illegal fortune telling business. <laughs> the law was overturned after he argued it violated the First Amendment. But the law is still present in states in states such as Pennsylvania. Fascinating. It's right? got to be like a because, religious thing or no. But yeah. uh, or it also well, dictates it's people like feel like they get scammed because yeah. they mm -hmm. feel like they get scammed. They're like, they said that this thing was going to happen and it yeah. didn't happen. I want my <laughs> money back. Mm. Is there anything you guys feel like should be illegal, but it's not? Guns. It's fascinating. <laughs> well, well, yeah. See, I don't feel that way. That gun should be illegal. I, I. Oh, here, hot we take. Go. <laughs> here we hot go. Here we go. I mean, I think that there should definitely be a limit to like what kind of gun you can get. But I think that if you want it's it just for a home free safety, for all right that's now. fine. Yeah. I think that too. But I think it's just a free for all right now. You need a license to drive a car, but yeah. nothing to one hundred percent. You need, like, a, you need a an ID to fly. When in we a were plane. in Alabama, could have bought one. I think like at this <laughs> point, it's armed. like they're not like they're not limiting it so literally just take them away yeah, well, i just like yeah. chris rock's like thing where he's like make a bullet more expensive oh yeah people... five thousand dollars make the guns free but the bullets yeah. cost five thousand dollars he's like i'd kill you if i could afford it yeah. <laughs> that's actually not although i think yeah. like for home invasions like just buy a paintball gun like it's gonna do a paintball gun just because when you buy a gun i think the in the the rate of like uh, accidental gun death in your home goes up by like ninety percent or something. One hundred percent. The amount right. of kids that are like yeah. dying because they Ugh. find their. But if you just and the intrusive Hell thoughts yeah. of just knowing that there's a gun in the drawer I right know. down there, it's like the shit in the bucket. On the, like yeah. I'm so yeah. disgusted by the thought that like there's a gun in there, there's a gun in there, and it's like I know I'm not gonna use it if, if worst case scenario I have to do it to defend yeah. myself. Just get a paintball gun and shoot someone but with a paintball there are, gun. Like people that are literally like I hope someone comes into my house yes. so I can shoot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's and a it's lot. Like, of, what? Yeah, it's and like, what? They the, get so excited to like yeah. use it. <laughs> it's like, are you sure? <laughs> that you should have they one. should be lobotomized. <laughs> yeah. The laws here are so interesting too because I know if somebody breaks in and you shoot them, like you are still going to jail for homicide unless they're faced a certain way. Like if you shoot them and the they find out that they were facing away from you, you will go to jail. Unless you're in, it's in California. In California. Mean. In Florida, it doesn't, they could look at I you mean, wrong and it's yeah. stand your ground. Yeah, totally. But it's like. You're just in a target. Some people like, just yeah. think like, oh, We're, I'll just shoot someone. Yeah. It's like, no, you can't because. <laughs> yeah. Um, dancing to the national anthem used to be illegal. Ooh. Another one. Like, like, <laughs> just what? grinding. Just like. <laughs> oh, say, <laughs> can <laughs> you see? Lock them up. <laughs> Lock them up. <laughs> Putting your own spin on the national anthem was illegal. Oh, burp, 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 so burp, Fergie burp. would have been in jail. Oh yeah. Um, what years was this? But Before kneeling. 2015, it says. But there's, but these are not. In, that's probably not enforced. Maybe these are in like some stupid places. ones. I don't really know. Um, buying mini liquor bottles, like nips. Yeah. Despite the fact shooters? that shooters. Yeah, I call them shooters. Nips. nips. Yeah. Nips. It's an, it's an East Coast nips. thing. Like that's a little. One. Yeah, like a, like an airplane bottle. A nip. Wow. Is that one shot or yes. is it two? I think it's one shot. One really? opportunity to it's... seize everything you ever <laughs> wanted. <laughs> I th is it only one ounce? I don't yes. know. I feel like they're more than one ounce. You, when they teach you like uh, You know you're probably when right. they teach you like alcohol consumption or whatever, they always use that as the diagram to show like what uh one shot standard... is one beer is one glass of wine. And it's always mm. a shooter. Yeah. Unless you drink an IPA, then it's double. Ugh. Pinball. You don't like IPAs? No, they're nasty. Whoa. We need, we need to turn you on to some good ones. I don't. <laughs> I feel like we, we come to IPA night. <laughs> Just a real, real loose bunch. Eating an IPA I night. don't like them at all. Like, um, I'd rather drink Bud Light. But it's yeah, better. Okay. 
I'm with you. Yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. There's times where like Bud Light is perfect. But IPA, you need like you're in the mood for a beer, but you want to have a slower beer, like because yeah, Bud Light I'll drink all like down a half. fast. Like I like you can sit is... on a Bud Light. Oh no, no, uh, exactly. Yeah, but then I'll get like a nice beer. But I oh. I don't like the like the the little like poppy. It's, Did yeah, I ever tell you guys that I started poppy. the uh, beer appreciation society in college senior year? You did, you did? I did. I was the founding member of the Rutgers Beer Appreciation Society. <laughs> it was a club. What did, what did you do? It was a club, and we were looking for like Stop. ways to like pad our resume with like credits and <laughs> and uh, like extracurriculars. Oh, yeah. So a couple of friends were like, "Let's just see if we can get away with this." And it took us two years because like <laughs> sophomore junior year is when we like started the application process. Yeah, oh. and it was very difficult. We well, had to like submit it. it. We wanted to be an official like in the school like. Oh. Because we wanted them to pay for everything. And that's oh, how you, when okay. you start a club. They pay for alcohol? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a crazy thing. It was like no one's ever done it before. To try and get your school to pay for you to drink beer was like, we like loved the challenge of that. <laughs> and, and you it, did it. Yeah, we had to like write papers and we had to like get a sponsor for like a teacher that would be there. And then we ended up hiring like a beer sommelier to do like a test run. Damn. And Official. it was fucking sick. We ended up actually succeeding. So we did it our senior year and I like had it on my resume. I got to write like an essay about it. But we had this beer sommelier, some like, yeah, you know, nerdy guy. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like exactly just... the type of person you would think of. <laughs> but he brought... He brought like an IPA, like uh, an American lager, a uh, foreign Stout, lager, yeah. a domestic imported whatever. And we actually learned like a ton about beer. I don't remember much anymore, but it was uh, quite a quite a thrill to be able to like. <laughs> yeah, that's cool in college. Oh, be, a beer episode. A beer episode. We just bring in so many different types of beers, and we all try them and be like, "This is good. <laughs> sure. This is bad. Toss it out. Go to the next party bus." Uh, it's ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I no, it not just now. Nice. But we can just... do it on a Sunday. It's actually eleven. So. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Let's see how many sins we can commit in one episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, a, I love beer. A sinning episode? <laughs> we gamble. <laughs> we have a prostitute on. We gamble. What were you saying? Oh, oh I thought you were going to say, Here. what was your favorite? What's your favorite sin? Sin? Yeah. <laughs> of the seven? Yeah, or just any any of them. What's your favorite? Stealing. What's your favorite naughty thing to do? What is it? L lust? In, Should we look up all the sins? Yeah, what are the seven deadly sins? Have you ever seen the movie Seven? Yes. So good. You, That's, you know what I love about that movie? How rainy it is. It's such a it's, good movie. Whenever like, Carly, you should watch that. What you, movie? Have seven. Have you ever seen Seven? I don't know. You'll <gasps> love it. Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow. Paltrow. Well, I'm not, I don't want to say the other person who's in it. It's really, really good. You've never seen Seven? I don't... Uh, David uh, Fincher! <laughs> I don't know who that she, is. No, that's not a Carly movie. Yeah, yes, no, it she is. would like it. Carly's Seven? into that kind of stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. Now? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Movies. Oh, Carly, just turn down the lights, pop on Seven, and just enjoy yeah. the ride. And then I'll be like, what's TikTok up to? And open TikTok. No, no you should put your phone in no, like a no, box. No. Yes. Put your phone in the other room. That's the way yeah. to watch a movie. Because then your, your, your instinct is... Like last night I watched... The Shining for the second time. Ooh, your eyes. <laughs> I was trying to think of what movie. I know, I know. I've been watching a lot of movies. Um, but I put my phone in my bedroom just so I wouldn't have to. Wow. What? Have you been letterboxing? No. Buddy, I... join it. Guys, follow me on Letterbox. <laughs> Matt Every Arcane. Episode. <laughs> Occasionally, I, 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 I just, I would love the following. Um, I'm going to start writing better reviews too. But yeah. Um, well, here are the seven deadly sins if anyone's got their favorite. Yeah. Sloth. Yep. Love. Envy. Lust, lust. lust, not love. Envy? Oh, uh, yeah. yes. Um, wrath? Yep. Mm. Two more. Greed. 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 And one more. Oh, oh you gotta watch Seven. Pride. Pride. Okay, so hold on. Lust, gluttony, pride, pride sloth, wrath. Greed and envy. What's sloth? Sloth's like, being like just lazy? being lazy and slow. Have a schedule. Don't Carly's let your favorite life. sin. <laughs> that's definitely my... Sloth? Yeah, that's my biggest one. Be diligent. Have a schedule. Don't let your life revolve around resting. I don't resting. know what mine is. What's your favorite one to do? I guess sloth. that like sloth, like, yeah, I guess you enjoy it very what much. But sometimes wrath, I don't feel like greed. it's to a point well, of... Not wrath. Not wrath, not greed, not envy. Pride. Pride, but you know what? It's like Be okay, humble. I'm the fucking man. <laughs> you need God and others. Living, it seems like almost like the seven deadly sins are like states of sinning and not really like a true act of it. Like, or I guess I'm just trying to think of like, oh, so 
if you're envious one time, that's the sin, or like I think it's just a sin to be envious. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and don't like covet greed my is like you wife. just like want more. Yeah, yeah. Like you'll do anything to. What's the difference between jealous and envy? Envy, you want what the person has because you think you deserve it. I think, oh, I think we've talked about jealous. this. I, I think it's I think jealousy envy's too. like the good one. Envy's like the good one. Oh, I yeah. wish I had what that person had, but good for them. But yeah. jealousy is like fuck. That's my fan. I'm like because more I feel like I deserve it. Okay, yeah. I think I, was I think so that, too. I was thinking of that movie Envy with like remember Ben Stiller and Jack Black. They poo rise. <laughs> the poo disappears. I feel Where like does that the movie shit go. I feel like that movie doesn't exist. Yeah, that's, that's a, like a weird DVD. Like, do you guys know this movie? No. What movie? It's called Envy with Jack Black and Ben Stiller. No. And they're invents... next door neighbors. They're best friends. Jack Black's like his kooky best friend who's like, hey man, I have an idea for a business. It's called Vapu Rise. It'll make poop disappear. You just spray it on dog <laughs> poop. Vapu Rise. It, it makes dog poop dis disappear. And Ben Stiller's like, this is a real stupid idea, man. He's like, well, okay, well, you're going to miss out, dude. I just feel like this is a great idea. And it's idea ends up working and his best friend lives across the street and he starts having all the success and he's oh, like i didn't fuck. do it it's kind of like the cable guy you ever seen the cable guy yeah. it's similar in like vibe where it's like what the fuck is going on just here? like real kooky yeah, yeah. And weird yeah um yeah i mean i guess like all of them are bad except for sloth sloth i mean i could see that being bad though. lust isn't bad Lust? Yeah, Wait, it I is. feel like there's one that I yeah. don't recognize. Who cares? Wrath. Okay, wrath is what just like, like doing your harm. Yeah, being an angry son of a bitch. I don't want to be any of those things. What was the other ones, Carly? Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. I just need to figure out Sloth what the tab is. Gluttony is eating a lot, right? Oh, I like or that one. Is that one. indulging in pl like? I think it's like a lot. Uh, like, any yeah, any pleasure, food, food yeah. or gluttony. Be moderate. Exercise regularly. Avoid excess in eating and drinking. <laughs> well, what if I do? What if I? Do that, but I like doing both. <laughs> well, then you're a sinner, Carly. Or Aaron, lust and you're going is sex, to... or like you're lusting after Says somebody. Lust, yeah. be pure, guard your heart, give yourself a project, exercise when you're bored. It, yeah, un unrestrained sexual craving. Yeah, that's okay. bad. Sloth is laziness, lack of effort. Got Wrath it. is uncontrolled feelings of hatred and anger. Maybe I'll do gluttony. What's gluttony? Uh, it's... To overindulge, especially by overeating. <laughs> Yeah, that pride, one's fun. inflated sense of one's accomplishments, whatever. Who cares? What about lying? <laughs> uh, lying would probably. F I don't know. You'd think. I bet it falls. No, under, you're allowed like, to do that. Pride. Yeah. Well, That's fine. pride is like you think you're so high. Like, you think so high of yourself, you can get away by lying. Where are these sins from? Is this from a book? The Bible. The Bible, the Bible Mike. It's not something you should read. Is that <laughs> the Ten Commandments are in the. I don't think the Constitution. seven deadly sins are from. Did you do the from... connection yesterday? Yes, I got it. Perfect. Yes. So did I. Perfect. I got zero out of ten today. But it's funny because when I did it, I got the Chris, the twelve days of Christmas one second, and I was like, "How the fuck did Mike get this?" Oh, that was my last one. Same. That's my second one. Oh, I got you the hardest have... one. I got the hardest two first. That's a great feeling. Which I didn't yeah. know. Mike had to you tell me. You know which one drove me nuts was bra parts. Oh, oh yes. I, it was like I cup, get... wire, clasp, strap, or something. clasp, and I was like, I don't think I did that one. What the fuck yeah. are these? And I, I was like, let's That's see like what it is. That's like context context so, or not context, Connections is so like. If you work at the New York Times and you happen to watch the show, give and you, us more. Let us, us be able to play games. previous games. Please. What? Oh, 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 sure. What? I would just love for us to come out and hang out and like collab. <laughs> <laughs> I would love New York Times Games <laughs> Office. We would love to come out to New York City, yeah. meet the Connections crew. I wish we crew. could play one game like on here. How fun would it be to go I've been in the to office? The, have you been to the New York Times building before? <laughs> I've been no. to the New York Times building a few the times. It's cool. Us. Everyone tweet Put out. out more. <laughs> I know. Let's collab. Let's collab. <laughs> I emailed them when they're like, do you have any feedback that you want to... And I think I told everyone in our group chat, like, yeah, can everyone email more. them? Let us play previous I, games of connections and see the past ones. I think the reason why they don't want to do it is because they just want to see what it becomes. It establishes the hype to play the game. It's, but like it's spelling, B, like, spelling B for years, they didn't let you play past games and now you can go back and play previous spelling Bs. Correct. Beasts. They're just using that model again. I hate spelling bee. It's so annoying. Oh, spelling bee took I'm take like, I'll never long. finish this. Like, yeah. Yeah. like it and gives it, me anxiety. I went in I yesterday it. after like months of not doing it and I got genius and I, if it's on spelling bee, what does that yeah. mean? Do you ever finish? Like, is there like, there's a, queen bee where there, you get every an single word. Yeah, like, is there an end to spelling bee? Just yes. to get okay. a genius, you're done. Genius and then there's queen bee, which is every single word 
forward that could possibly happen. Damn. It takes I've only gone throughout that. my day, and it keeps my brain like a little too squirrely. Like right. I'm always thinking about the words, and even I'll get genius, and I'm still thinking about right, the right, words. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I kind of wish. I was thinking about this yesterday when I was doing it, that instead of the spelling bee being in a circle, I wish they were in a row. I do too. And that way I could just like shuffle them. Mm -hmm. and you can still shuffle. In, but, but I don't like that it's in yeah. a circle. Like I'd rather it just be written out. I as think that's text. good. I disagree, Mike. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I disagree. You what, Okay. When you say collab with the New York Times, what are you she looking just wants for to here? to go there. And just, see the offices. And just like do a selfie at like the connections team. I want to meet the team of people who are like, okay, we're working on the connections for next week. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> do you guys think this is a good oh, one? Fine. Like just, meet I want to go in and tell the people they're doing a great job. I want to give some high fives, <laughs> shake some hands, see what they do. Tell them how much I appreciate it. And hopefully. Maybe Will Shorts pops in. Hey guys, what are you working on over dude, here? Dude, if I met Will Shorts. Do you well, know what he looks like? Yes. Okay. I actually. I, yes. If you line up five guys, I could pick out Will Shorts. The people <laughs> who do the Wordle were on Watch What Happens Live like two weeks ago. The ones who like created it? The made the no, money? the ones who are like at the New York Times, oh, wow. like who work on it. Oh, cool. That seems like an easy one. Let's just pick a word. Do you think they spend all day working on one puzzle and then they're like, all right, let's go home? Let's no, I feel on. like they probably have them all or in the I, bank. I assume it's like AI like doing all these games. They're doing it. No, no I think right? no. They're New doing York it. Times, there's an element of a human brain in there. It's yeah. one that a AI and a computer couldn't Could even think. Never Dude, do. The crossword They'll today. They'll never take our job. Thursday, take I need to show you. I have such a stride on it, but I need you to see uh, okay, we what do I'm that seeing. Because it's so cool. I did about half of Wednesday. It was cool. That it was like all about drummers. So they had like Meg White and, yes, John, and John Bonham. What's his name? Oh. John Bonham. Son of a bitch. John Bonham. I think the oh. only one I got, I tried doing it and it was like blank queen. And I said, yes, queen. Yeah. I actually didn't get that one until like way into it. <laughs> that was, like that the was only really, thing. yeah, that was like on Monday. Or was no, it? that was Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Yeah. Yes, did you queen. get the drum roll? <laughs> yes. Yes. All, all of it says drum in a roll. Are you talking about the regular? Regular yeah. cross. <laughs> Dude, when I had said this yesterday, but uh, <laughs> remember when I posted my six minute Monday? I got a Monday crossword in six minutes. I guess. Posted which I don't on my believe, Instagram. But, uh, <laughs> I'll let you have it. Unbelievable. Well, you won't believe this. Carly yeah. responded and goes, me doing a mini. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to text Matt like my times when they're long because it's so embarrassing. A six I'm, minute I either, mini. I either get it in like, <laughs> I either get it in like 50 you seconds or like eight that minutes. And you reply to that. Like, oh, it's me doing that a mini. mini. That would be such a good look. Like, I know. That's I know. a good, that was really, Carly is so funny. Oh, I know. It's so funny. <laughs> one other one I thought was like interesting, maybe personally, because like my dad was collected pinball machines and like that's his whole life. But I did not know this pinball used to be illegal during World War for like a funny reason. During World War Two, the New York government deemed pinball as a money stealing game that was taking focus mm. away from fighting the war overseas. The game was banned in 1942. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like his PTSD. Yeah. Yo, like people, the no, there's like people were bored back then. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, what is this? <laughs> no, they were like, we want to be more bored yeah yeah they wanted them to be more bored so they go and fight in world war ii yeah and they said more than two thousand pinball sh machines were confiscated it wasn't until 1972 that the california supreme court ruled that the popular game was a skill-based game not gambling and the law was overturned also sunday football used just, to be illegal are there recordings of Church. these like like hearings mm -hmm. of Probably. someone going hi uh -huh. sir it's me from <laughs> you know the fourth district yeah the fourth <laughs> district of apple valley ohio yeah this whole thing of pinball these days is getting out of hand being a communist i just want to hear know? that like person make that argument yeah oh my god government employees doing crosswords used to be illegal <gasps> they'd get too smart they or they would uh obsess about it too much i kind of get that um i don't know it says in 1989's ethics Oh, 1989, Taylor. Taylor's version. Okay, FX guys. Reform. It comes out this week. Shut the fuck up. Uh, barred government Tonight. employees from accepting money for speeches or events. The law was oddly broad, however, and banned them from acts including writing crossword puzzles or teaching dance for pay. The Supreme Court updated the law in 1995. We'll know by now, obviously, when this is out, but people are theorizing Harry's going to be on the album. Yeah. Harry Styles will be on Taylor Swift's new album. Mm -hmm. Why not? It doesn't say featuring t Harry Styles on the things. Yeah. The what? Swifties are going feral on the yeah. talk. Like the F. They think the F is the same F that Harry writes. Yeah. They think it's four different artists. Like yeah. Lord, Harry, Phoebe. 
Phoebe, Phoebe Bridgers. And then on one song? Oh, no, this is the Aquamarine thing yep. where I nice. think it's it's the handwriting mm -hmm. of four different people. Selena Gomez. Oh my gosh. But I keep seeing like alternating, th like people are like, no, this is Maddie Healy's handwriting. I when saw people that are saying like, it's Lord Hands. We'll find out tonight. I know. Wait, it's coming out tonight? At yeah. 9 p.m., baby. This is recorded early. What are you guys again. doing? Sit and listen. You'll, you'll have like a party. No, we don't Actually, really do that. I, mean, I like doing nice. it alone. I love doing listening to Taylor's albums alone. I mean, these ones not so much because they're just like re-recording. You know what I hate? What? Or I get a real big ick or cringe from. But then I love sometimes when it's actually perfect. Looking back on are people who like videotape them listening to an album oh. where they're like, oh, oh, oh my yeah. gosh. On. She said that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would yes. feel like I had to like ham it up. If it's one, okay, like, I like watching it. If it's one person, but when it's like the three, like, four oh friends, God. and they're all trying to like outdo yeah. one another, and then I'm yeah. like, see, listen to the lyrics. Yeah, who's yeah. enjoying it? How can more? you hear? Yeah, yeah, just like I get a real big ick. Uh, the listening. invisible audience. Yeah, yeah. but that's got to be kind of exciting. Damn, I'm now I'm kind of stoked for yeah. the new Taylor. Album. I'm excited for the um, wait, 1989. Tracks. What do we got? What tracks is that, do we is Wildest that? Dreams. I knew you were no. trouble. Oh, yeah, uh, no, it's not that. No, Wildest Shake Dreams, it I thought off. it's Blank Space. Oh, this is yeah. when you were, you you guys had just moved to LA. Yeah. It's 1989. So I got a lot of fond memories of 1989. Bad Blood? Uh, no. That. No? No? I don't remember. I'm a bad Swifty. Is it? 1989. We would play yeah. the Bad Blood music yeah. video in y'all's apartment. Yeah. Okay. It's so good to think about sad, the bad side to you <laughs> and I. Uh, but then there's also vault tracks, so songs she wrote during that era that never came out, Ooh. which is like the best part of the re-recording. But then, yeah. is those are those tracks re-recorded or those are those from are new? But I mean, I'm saying from the vault tracks, like are these tracks that she recorded yes. back in that era? Correct. So well, that's like you're hearing wrote... like a younger version of Taylor. No, she she re-recorded re re it. Have you um, not been keeping up with the? No, I'm saying for the not. for the vault tracks. I feel yeah. like it would be cool to hear, like if she does, if she re-recorded an album from when she was 15, the vault tracks would still be the recordings yeah. of when she was 15. Well, so you can like hear. She might not have ever recorded them. The oh, she yeah. never even recorded them. Like maybe of some of them. them. Maybe oh, she didn't. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I thought they were like recordings that didn't make it to the album, and they were just like, well, we never released it, so now we can. Mm -hmm. Like Radiohead, <laughs> that was like a big thing that they put out stuff from like the 90s because his voice has changed over the years yeah and they put out like new 90s radiohead and everyone was like this is so nice to hear a new whatever eh, doesn't matter i'll see myself out All i have right, a funny bye. tiktok for us to do oh okay uh, to do wait just you and me later oh. on it deals with radiohead fine <laughs> okay Oh uh, yeah, girls don't know Radiohead. Yeah, we're too dumb I don't yeah. think you it's like get, art rock and like weird get... time signatures and you just wouldn't get it it's like <laughs> That's it's a little too smart probably, for you, I if I'm being honest. No, okay, yeah, idea. you're right. I hate Tom York. It's yeah, the idea, first of all, it's, it's not, Tom. <laughs> it's the idea for the TikTok I that I think would DJ be good. I saw him DJ at uh, the Roosevelt Hotel. That's sick. It was pretty, pretty good. Was it? Yeah. I feel like he would be a weird guy to go see DJ. Like, oh, it's just was, bleeps and bloops. He was so weird. Bleeps and bloops. But it was, I Who mean, I, Tom, Tom York. York. Oh. Oh, Who's you Tom don't York, know who it is? The lead singer of Radiohead. Okay, okay. Radiohead, Love Creep. I don't know everything else. I'm like Matt doesn't like anything with guitars in it. He goes not till sundown. <laughs> Wait, you don't even like radio? I don't like dr I don't like. He drums. doesn't like. He doesn't like music and guitars. After all I don't this. like drums in the morning. I don't like drums in the morning. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. I just like, told doom, that doom, 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 doom. He's just like. <laughs> what list. did you listen to on the way here? Uh, the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> Okay, folks. That it was with Reggie jazz. Watts. Oh, it's I love Reggie oh, Watts. I watched chat. that one and I was like, I, this guy annoys me. Oh, Reggie annoys Watts? Annoys me, yes. I, I can't explain it. We listened to it actually on the way to your wedding. <laughs> Reggie Watts? On the way to Annoys Birmingham. you? We listened to yeah. Blink-182 the whole way here. Oh, the new album? Mm -hmm. um, that's it very good? drummy. Very drummy. I was, I was liking it, yeah. Yeah. I love that for you. Reggie Watts, I just got, I don't know. Like, he have seems you, like he, a cool dude, but I was like, okay, get it, like, you comedy ketamine. and, like, his music before? No, no. Oh, no. yeah. You should see his TED Talk. Oh, okay. Remember that know. one? It's really good. And about Boko. Should we have lunch? Yeah, let's go have lunch. All right, we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening and watching. Bye.